Good morning, YouTube. It's Sunday morning, and we had a big storm come through. We've already gotten two inches of rain, and I've had questions of how I deal with the rain in this pond for desalinating the water. And as I had said once before, really no issue anymore since I put that ledge around it. I don't know if you can see, but it all rolls, rolls off the patio here and keeps on trucking down this way towards the yard. All that back there rolls towards the back. All that there rolls towards the back and rolls towards the front right here. So everything goes around the pond. So the only thing it catches is the, uh, the rain falling in the water itself. And we've already gotten two inches from this uh, storm system and I haven't topped off the water so my because I knew it was coming you know I, I checked the weather so I was already running a good inch inch and a half or so low on my water level just from evaporation so my salts were a little high not dangerous high but high enough to accommodate the rain that was coming so uh that's how i control that um and if need be i've got some extra bags of morton's pool salt like if this shit don't go away uh i can drop some of that in there the pond's established so all you're doing is raising the salt and that Morton's pool salt, 99.9% .9 pure salt. So, it don't hurt the fish. I've already proven that fact. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, as long as you got that ledge and all the water rolling away from the pond, uh, I really have no issues with it anymore. Uh, back when I first built this pond, I didn't have the ledge around it. So, uh, yeah, everything rolled into the pond. It, it trashed it. So that was a lesson learned. So yeah, just make sure if you, if you build a, a pond, salt or fresh, uh, make sure you got a high ledge around it and the water rolls away from it for when you get the heavy rains. Uh, Y'all hear the thunder and lightning? We don't get this this often here in Corpus. So it's not really a big issue. Like if I was in South Florida where I'm from, you know, you get the heavy rains every afternoon in the summer. Uh, then, you know, design would have to be a little different, I think. But for where I live, uh, this works out good. Uh, so yeah, but that's how I deal with the with the rain. No, no desalinating. Beautiful weather, isn't it? <laughs> We need it though. It gets pretty dry here in the summer, so. But that's that. That's how I deal with the rain. Uh, you know, I anticipate rain coming, so I don't top off the water. Uh, let it run a little low, an inch or two, and and you know, salt level goes up a little bit, but it stays within within acceptable parameters. <laughs> And, uh, you know, two inches of rain, uh, ponds come up a good two inches. So I just checked the salts on it uh, a few minutes ago before I started this video, and it's it's fine. It's actually still a little tad bit, tiny bit on the high side. So, and I've got another inch to go before this pond is, like, riding at the level where it's supposed to be so and this is going to pass through pretty quick today so we'll be, we'll be in good shape and like i said i have spare bags of morton full salt i keep on hand just just in case on that skimmer i built i showed y'all the other day man that thing that is the sweetest setup it, it's doing such a good job. Uh, 
I, mean, I, I can't believe how easy it was to build and set up and it's it's awesome so this pond in really good shape yesterday I went uh, fishing and me and mama went out to, to uh, uh, Packery Channel which is a channel that comes in off the Gulf of Mexico and and I just went screwing around for a little bit and I started tossing the cast net and uh, I, I was able to catch six uh, probably about four or five inch big uh, spade fish they're pretty cool looking they got the shape of like an angel fish uh, I don't know if y'all know what spades are but they're they're pretty cool they're swimming around there doing good I got a bunch of uh, greenback shads uh, babies so I got a, about a school of I don't know maybe a hundred of them or so swimming around in there uh, a little more food for the for the other fish along with the shrimp but, uh, I'll show you that when the weather clears up I'll show you those fish uh, puffer fish still going there everybody's doing good stingrays in there doing good uh, so yep there you have it Look. Got, that's how much rain we got <clears throat> my dragon swimming <laughs> that's probably about an inch or so deep it all rolls off that way it comes all the way off the patio and rolls that way so. all right i'm gonna get ready to go to church uh, y'all have a blessed day